Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, where the city meets the harbour, right here in Docklands. My name is Lana Murphy, and today I am joined by star player agent Marian Boll. He's the vice president of IMG Tennis and is a guest here at Melbourne Private Apartments. Hello, Marian. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here. Pleasure to be here. We are in a stunning setting right now, looking right over the water. Why do you bring yourself and your players here to Melbourne Private Apartments? Um, well, let's start with the view, right? Do I need to say anything more? It's uh, a beautiful setting and a very calm and relaxed and quiet setting, which is uh, good in the hustling and bustling environment that the players live in every day. Practice, being around fans, having many commitments to do, and it's very nice to come home at the end of the day to a very quiet and serene um, environment, and especially with the view, um, you know, can beat it. Beautiful. And in terms of, I guess, I guess, comparison to all these amazing places you've stayed all across the world, how does my Melbourne private apartments compare? I mean, it ranks right up there. Um, you have to understand uh, tennis players travel uh, 11 months out of the year most of the time uh, to every continent and country you can possibly imagine. I would say 95% of the time they travel, they stay in hotels. So this is a very welcome change of pace, so to speak. It makes them much more feel at home. Uh, they have a kitchen, they have a bedroom, a living room. Uh, they can really feel like they live here actually. So make it more part of their everyday routine as they're used to at home. So it's a very welcome change. And uh, I mean, where it ranks, it ranks right up there. I mean, it's, it's impeccable with the views, the luxury of the places, the, the, the light, the glass windows and walls, it's, it's fantastic. How does the location go as well in terms of getting to the tennis precinct and all over Melbourne? Very easy. Uh, everything is very uh, close by and easily accessible. Uh, you're right uh, by the downtown district, so close. And to the tennis is, you know, seven minutes by car from here. So uh, location wise, it's really easy and access accessibility is everything. And you don't have to, you can kind of go around the CBD if you need to, if the traffic is heavy. So it's very easily accessible and that makes it attractive to be here. A couple of the players, you know, they haven't had time to use the facilities, the amenities, the mm. spa just yet because mm. they're busy training. Yeah. Are you getting into the gym? Uh, I try. Um, I have always a good, uh, how, how do you say this? Um, uh, plan to do it and it happens in the beginning but then the tournament gets on the way and you get just distracted with meetings and matches you have to attend and things you got to take care of for the players so um, I always have good intentions let's say that way but uh, I enjoy the pool a little bit uh, the gym is fantastic um, I hear from the players they love this gym better than to go on site because it's more private it's quieter there's less people so uh, you know it's a huge benefit to have that on site here Beautiful. Now, speaking of your client list, which boasts some pretty big names, uh, who are you most excited to watch? Are you able to have favorites here? I can't play favorites, you know that. Um, but, you know, everybody's exciting. And uh, I think part of this job and why I love it so much is every day is a new opportunity, right? They go out there and compete and the score is zero, 0 at the start and it's not over till it's over. Um, the guests that are staying here, my clients, are anywhere from really young and just up and coming and just starting out to uh, very experienced, like a Victoria Azarenka, who has won the Australian Open twice um, and, you know, is, is, is an established uh, superstar, veteran, so to speak. So uh, it lies all over the place. I can't get more excited about one than the other because they're all exciting to watch and to be with. So. Do you have, I mean, you have been to the Australian Open quite a few times. I don't know if you could even put a number on it, but do you have... This is my 11th Australian Open. 11th yeah, Australian so. Open. Yeah. In 11 years, is there a particular memory that stands out? What's your favourite AO moment? Um, personally, um, I think in 2019, I had a client that made a final. It was very exciting. Um, and I just remember the first time I ever came here to Australia, to Melbourne. I fell in love with the country and the city right away. I always, uh, I live in the US, even though I'm European, and I always said if it wasn't for the US, I would love to live here in Australia, in, in Melbourne, and uh, this would not be a bad place to pick either if I had a choice. So uh, I wouldn't be shy to call this home if I could. Beautiful. Do you have any favorite restaurants or cafes or anything in Melbourne yet? You know what? Um, I don't have a particular one. Uh, there's so many, uh, so much variety, and I love the little coffee shops and the breakfast. Every morning, uh, or not every morning, but I do many breakfast meetings in the morning, you know, with, with, with our clients or business associates or sponsors or, or anyone in the business that I have to meet with. I always have the intention to have a light breakfast, but the breakfast is so big here. Like, it's, it, you know, you don't need to eat for the rest of the day. But uh, in particular, if I have a favorite, I, I don't think so. I, I love to, 
to go, you know, there's streets here close by with little cafes, little boutique uh, breakfast shops, so um, I'm, I'm very easy, I'm not picky. Tennis is your world, yeah. right? And you were a pretty strong tennis player yourself. I was, I was a very average junior, let's call it that we'll way. We'll go with that. I never had the potential to become a professional, but um, I played in college, I got a scholarship to play for an American university and uh, ended up uh, never leaving, so to speak. Um, I've, I'm 38, so I've lived half of my life in Europe, in Holland, where I'm from originally, and half of my life now in the US. And uh, I'm, I feel like very privileged because I love tennis, but I was never good enough to become a professional, but I've made an amazing career out of just hitting a tennis racket against a yellow ball. Obviously, I don't have the level that these guys have, but I'm super privileged to play you know, a pretty significant role in their life and establishing and helping them succeed. I feel very responsible for everything they do off the court. I can't teach them how to hit a forehand or to hit a backhand. I'm not responsible for that part, but I'm responsible for hiring a coach that teaches them that. So my involvement is extensive and extreme to a, to a degree. Um, so when I lift the trophy, I feel very responsible and, and elevated and excited because I played a part in that. And of course, my, my job is on the business side, uh, you know, dealing with their sponsorships and endorsements and their overall brand strategy and marketing. Um, but it all starts with, you know, having to get the W on the court, right? I really hope one of them gets a trophy this Me year. Too. Me too. Thanks, Brian. Thank you so much.